Hi, it's Tony Pan at UP and Abraham's Behind the Handlebar Series. And today, we're gonna to be talking about snowmobiles because it's winter out. We're gonna be hitting some subjects you should know about safety and a little bit about maintenance and trails, so stay tuned. Before you get ready to go on that first ride on your snowmobile, make sure you've got it tuned up properly. Your spark plugs are clean and, and good, proper gap, nice new spark plugs that you had your oil changed, everything's tuned up, uh, and, your, and your sled is ready to go. And before you start this sled, make sure that this throttle cable is all the way in. You want to flip it and make sure it goes all the way back. If it's stuck in the off position and you start your snowmobile, it's going to take off on you. So check your cable before you start the sled. Make sure you've got your spark plug tools and any other tools you might need for adjustments. Make sure you have a spare drive belt. And maybe it's a good idea to even have an extra pair of uh, spark plugs along for the ride too. Make sure you check the weather conditions before you take off, especially if you're going far up north. Carry a trail map with you. Make sure your lights on your snowmobile are working properly, and it's a good idea to carry out along a, a flashlight with fresh batteries too, just in case. Remember, when you're riding around in wintertime, cold weather and wind chill are your enemy. You wanna make sure there's no exposed skin, so you wanna wear a full face helmet with a full shield to protect your face. You want to have probably gauntlet gloves is the best idea to cover up your wrist so you're not getting air up inside your sleeve. With windshield, if any exposed, uh, any exposed skin in, a, in cold temperatures, uh, you will get frostbite. When you're selecting your gear, if you, don't, if you don't have it already, you want closely fitted clothes that are specifically engineered and designed for cold weather sports, skiing, snowmobiling. Uh, don't just throw your blue jeans on or your coveralls with a pair of long underwear on. That's not going to cut it. Uh, you want to get the modern fabrics and, that are designed to block wind uh, and, and resist weather, sn wet snow. Uh, get the proper gear because it pays off in the long run. When you get ready to head out, make sure you're heading out with at least one partner. You should always have a team of people riding with you, at least one, in case of a problem, mechanical or medical. Um, and you should file a flight plan. In other words, make sure people back home know your intended route, where you're going to be going, which trails you plan on using, where you're parking your truck and trailer. Uh, those are all important things because if you're overdue or past due and people are worrying about you, they'll know where to go look. When you're going out on your trails, avoid going to bars or if you're stopping at bars, use it for a food stop and maybe coffee or hot chocolate. Don't do alcohol or drugs when you're riding a machine like this because first of all, it impairs your reaction times. And second, alcohol actually uh, exposes you to a better chance of hypothermia. So stay away from drugs and alcohol, go out and have fun and really enjoy the sport. When you're out riding, stay on posted trails and know which trails you're using. Uh, don't go on areas that you're unfamiliar with because there's hidden hazards like wood or debris underneath the snow or barbed wire fences. And you could be trespassing on private land which could get you in trouble. Always have respect for your fellow snowmobilers. So if you have oncoming snowmobiles, make sure you move over to the right so there's plenty of room to clear. If there's not enough room, you may have to pull over far enough where you actually stop to let the other traffic come by you. I always think safety first. When you come to intersections, there's stop signs that should be posted on, on trails. Managed trails will have stop signs at crossings. Uh, make sure you apply the same rules of the road to snowmobiles as you would to your car. A person on your right has the right of way. Uh, unless you're to the corner or to the intersection first, then you would have the right of way. But, you know, play it safe because you don't know what the other guy knows. and what his condition is. So always be safe out there and have respect for your other snowmobilers. Checking the temperatures before you go out snowmobiling could be important if you're gonna be crossing any bodies of water. Uh, obviously, if it's been warm out for a couple of days, you, I wouldn't trust ice. You should check the conditions before you cross the lake or check with the locals. If there's a, a bar or a restaurant nearby, you can always stop in and ask about the conditions. If there's nobody around, you, you absolutely want to avoid any areas that look like they're black ice or uh, water, standing water, and big cracks in the ice. You want to avoid that. Check the rules and regulations of the county that you plan on going to to, to do your snowmobiling. Uh, there may be different regulations as to how much snow is on the ground and what the temperature is, the, the minimum temperature, before they'll let you ride the trails, the, the uh, organized trails. As you're out on the trails, always be aware of uh, debris and other obstacles in the trail, even though it's a groomed trail. Uh, and watch out for uh, branches that may have come down over off of a tree or some dead wood hanging down that may have fallen and is either blocking the trail or hanging low enough where it might hit you as you go under. 
Snowmobiling is a wonderful way to continue your recreation outdoors when there's snow and cold weather. So be safe, get out in the trails, watch the regulations and the rules, be, be sure you have the proper gear and have fun.